She over there feeding herself like a bird and feeding him like he's King Neptune or some shit. I ain't trying to. Daddy, don't put no Jack Daniels in my grandma tuna. This man is crazy. Oh, going on. Woo. Uh, you know the Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snap. Hey, you know the vibes. It's J. Hi! What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibe. Where's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Today's video, you guys, I am in the kitchen. You see all of these things. You're like, oh my god, J is cooking. Yes, I am. While I'm cooking, I'm gonna give you like a little story time of why I'm cooking it, who was for. Before we get into the video, you already know I am here to do a subscriber shout out. My daddy cooking something else. Hold on. The subscriber shout out is going to go to Pretty Life Kayla. Girl, you be on it. You be on it on Instagram. You be like on it, on it, on Instagram. That is where I'm most active at. Anywho. And she be on it on my, of course, comment sections on all videos, any videos. And shout out go to you, baby girl. I definitely appreciate your love and your support. You are lit fire sauce. Happy belated birthday because I know your birthday was like a few weeks ago, so yeah, shout out go to you. Now let's get into this video, you guys. Please make sure you are subscribed. The way that you can get a subscriber shout out from me is just basically being engaged with the video by commenting your comments below in the comment section. Catch up on some old videos. Make sure you are tuned into my new videos. Make sure your bell is on for all my post notifications, whether it's a post, whether it's a video, a freestyle, me cooking, me pranking, me reacting, me just vlogging, me just doing what I do. Please make sure you are subscribed to me on J Fitness by YouTube channel. All links are down below. Go stream my music. Let's cook a tuna salad today. So this tuna salad is actually gonna be for my grandmother. Before I get started, I do have some water boiling because it ain't a tuna salad without the eggs. And I use a spoon to put my eggs in because who putting their hands in hot water? Boiling hot water, not me. And I feel like if I did that, I would end up dropping it and cracking the egg. And ain't nobody, don't nobody want no crack egg. So I'm gonna put my egg in there. Also, before I get started, I brought some containers just because I love you, Grandma, with all my heart. But we we need our containers. So I got your own container straight out the pack. I gotta wash it. I know y'all like Jay. You better wash that container. I'm about to wash it. Hey. Of course, make sure you got your bowl so that you can put your tuna in too. And it's all kind of tuna out there. We're gonna be using the tuna solid white uh, apple bore tuna. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I hope I said that right. Who knows? You know they got tuna in water, tuna in oil. This is the tuna to get, all right? So, Grandma, this is for you, all four packs. And if I'm not satisfied with how much is in the container, baby, we got tuna on deck. I might do five. But then, four might be enough. Let's just see. So, first thing first, I am going to go ahead and open up my tuna. I usually, like, let's say I'm using two, I usually use all the juice from one and then drain the other one. So, I think I'm going to drain Two and a half. So I'm gonna have a whole juice from one. Oh, they got a little dent in it. That ain't good. And then like half of the juice of the other one. Um, I have me here a sweet onion because who wants a plain old white onion, onion chopped up? No. And God has some celery, relish, mayonnaise. Come on now. Oh, <laughs> mustard, salt, and pepper. All of my ingredients. Now, I'm not sure what you all put in your tuna, but you know what I'm saying? Feel free to share your ingredients, or I'll say feel free to share your tuna salad recipe in the comment section below. So, let's get these bad boys open. So, the reason why I'm making my grandma some tuna salad, she called me like three days ago. And she called me just to check up on me, and I was checking up on her too. So, I'm like, you know, if you have been here since the beginning of time 
my grandmother literally the week of my birthday so for a long time now she's had some health problems like random seizures the doctor don't know why she's on all this medication and of course she has other health problems too but the week of my birthday it like hit the worst of the worst like she was found in her bedroom knocked out house was smoky it could have been like a situation she got rushed to the hospital with all the smoke went into her body caused her not to be able to breathe on her own so she was on this breathing tube and the doctors were literally talking about putting her on life support and the way my god work i don't know about yours but the way my god work okay because he's almighty and god is good she literally did a 360, 360, 180. She did a complete turnaround in the hospital, woke up on her own, um, and was released released from the hospital within like 48 hours. I literally brung in my birthday with my grandmother, spent my whole birthday week with my family. That's how that went. So she called me a few days ago, you know, just chit-chatting it up. I was like asking her, like, you know, how you how you doing? How you been doing? Have you been eating? You been taking your medicine? What you been doing? You know, so what you been doing? And she told me that she ain't really been eating like that. And why? She got this man. My grandma got a boyfriend. She don't like to make two different meals because she's stubborn. She ain't lazy. She just stubborn. She don't like to make two different meals because what she like to eat, he don't like to eat. And what he be eating, she don't be wanting that. Not to say she don't eat it, but she don't be wanting that. So she over there feeding herself like a bird and feeding him like he's King Neptune or some shit. I ain't feeling it. So I'm like, Grandma, what you like to eat? First thing on her list was tuna salad. Chi ching Next thing on her list was some uh, crab packs, salmon packs, one of them. I got you next time, Grandma. We're going to take this step by step by step. So I decided, at the kindness of my heart, I don't even think she knows that I'm doing this, to be honest. But the kindness of my heart, because I love my grandmother, I'm going to make her a tuna salad, you guys. So I'm going to make her a tuna salad, a whole bowl. So she ain't got no excuse to not eat. It ain't no, I didn't want to make it. Grandma, I made you a whole bowl. Boom! A tuna salad. Eat it. Why are you over there eating your bread like a bird? Eat some of that tuna salad inside the bread to make you a tuna salad sandwich. She got food over there. It's just she don't like to make two different meals. And I understand it because it ain't nothing like already having to make one meal for somebody and then you got to turn around and make a whole different type of meal. I know my grandma would definitely appreciate this. After I actually make this, I'm going to chill it. I'm going to go upstairs and do some videos. I'm actually going to go spend some time with my mother, my grandmother, and my cousin, my aunt. I'm probably going to open up this other onion, but for right now, I just want to go ahead and just start prepping a little bit just so I can see how much of everything that I do have. Also, before I get on the road, I need to buy my daddy some mayonnaise because I'm pretty sure I'm going to use some of that, although I don't think he plan on doing anything with the mayonnaise, but it's nothing like replacing what you use. So I brought this relish yesterday, brought some more celery, brought an actual onion, which is in the refrigerator that I'm not using. I brought this tuna. I'm gonna go to the store and get him some mayo and some milk. I know y'all seen that prank I did, and some people was in their feelings, but y'all, the video said it was a prank. I don't understand why people be in their feelings about stuff. So. I'm literally dicing, mincing, however, whatever you want to call it, pronounce it, this onion because that's how it's supposed to be in the damn tuna salad. There ain't nothing wrong with this celery. Daddy said this celery ain't good. Ain't nothing wrong with it, Craig. Rinse off my celery. But all in all, you guys, my grandmother is doing well. She sounds you know, way better than what she was sounding like when I was first talking to her prior to the whole situation with the hospital. And uh, it really just is like for real, for real, a blessing just for her to do such a turnaround because, you know, we were scared. We were scared, not necessarily scared to where we didn't have faith that she would pull through. It's just like, yo, like, the situation is just scary just to know how she was found and then to not know, you know, how she was feeling or how she was thinking prior to everything. And, you know, my grandmother, you know.
know how grandmothers are. They, I'm fine. I don't need nothing. That's how my grandmother is. So she'll say she fine. Up and down, swear she fine, swear she okay. And that, that don't even be the case, y'all. You know what I'm saying? She'll have a whole headache, be feeling dizzy, out of breath, and she over there, I'm fine, I'm fine, okay. Y'all, soon as my grandma got out the hospital, and soon, this woman was right back in the kitchen making neck bones, rice, green beans, gravy, just stuff she shouldn't have been, Boston butts, stuff that she shouldn't even, can't tell her nothing. You can't tell her nothing. Try to tell her to sit down. I'm fine, you sit down. This is my house. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna disobey my elders. So you, you, you are right. This is your house and you got it because she wasn't gonna kick me out and she damn sure wasn't gonna cuss me out because I wasn't. I wasn't there for those problems, you guys. I was just there to love her and kiss her. Celery is cut up, onion is cut up. I definitely uh, may cut up some more onion, like I mentioned. I wanna show you guys what's going on right here. We got the onion, got the celery. Let's go ahead and get our tuna drained. Let's go ahead and get our tuna inside of this bowl just so that we can mix it up and see what more we wanna add to anything else. My eggs are still over here boiling up. One done crack, honey. Always gotta be a stubborn one in the mix. I come back. And I'm back! All right, so right now I am cracking my boiled egg and peeling it. Oh, I could just eat this bitch. Um, I'm gonna peel it, wash it off, cut it up. Add it to the tuna. So I've already added my salt, pepper. I also added the onion and celery. I also added three big scoops of relish and then I kind of like zigzag that must up all over the place. My grandma loves black pepper. She always told me you can never have too much black pepper so I made sure to put a little extra in that, in that thing for her, you know what I'm saying? So let me get my egg washed off. I can just Eat this thing, put some salt on it, and just, ooh. Got my egg, now it's time to slice and dice. I really don't like cutting egg because it don't do right. Yeah, at this point, who's trying to be pretty with the damn egg? Right now, I ain't gonna lie though, Grandma. I, I need me a little bite or two after you. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you taste it. I am definitely putting all these eggs in there. I don't think you can have a tuna salad without egg. And I can't stand to get a bite without the egg. Okay, the only thing I have not put in here yet is the mayonnaise, but I'm gonna let you see everything before I put the mayonnaise. Hopefully I don't put too much mayonnaise because last time I made tuna salad, it was too much mayonnaise. This is the tuna salad. You got your eggs, salt, pepper, the mustard is in there, the tuna is in there. Um, I did good on the size of the bowl. I didn't have to add no more tuna. I might add one more can, just in case this is a little bit too, many, too much ingredients. Onion over there, it smells so delicious. I'm about to add the mayonnaise now. And I got the salt and pepper on the side just because I needed to add a little bit more. But I figured with the egg, the celery, the relish, the onions, I don't need no more onions because of the relish or celery because of the relish. Eggs looks perfect. So if anything, I can always add more mayonnaise, always add more salt and pepper. I can always add more anything of anything that I already put in here, but I'm gonna start off with this and see where I'm at. Hopefully the only thing I need to add is salt, pepper, mayonnaise, or tuna. Let's get the mixing. For some reason, I always add too much mayonnaise. Why y'all ain't saying that? Now it's time for the taste test. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh, that relish just makes such a big difference. 
<laughs> Travis! Hey Travis! What in the world? Too much mayonnaise? Too much mayonnaise. I always do that. You put eggs in there? Yeah. I like mayonnaise. How many cans you put in there? You feed a family of five or six? This my grandma. He's doing the mayonnaise next time. Come on, Pixie, let me get stuff at the bar. I'm gonna put the lid on it, refrigerate it. I'll be hitting the road soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, too much mayonnaise, but it's still so delicious. I promise you, it's so good. We're gonna put some, uh... My grandma, she gonna love it either way. I promise you. No, 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 no! My grandma do not need it. Daddy gonna ruin it! It's not. <laughs> Come on! No! Come on! That's my protein! It's vanilla it's protein! She needs some protein to the protein! Come on! I'm gonna put some protein in the tomb. This is what I have to deal with. All Goodbye! Right. Daddy, don't put no Jack Daniels in my grandma's tuna! I am out of here, you guys. Have a blessed day, a great day. Whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. This man is crazy! Going on. Woo. Mm -hmm. That's just right now. Mm -hmm. Are you putting the uh, corned beef in there? Yeah. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. You know the vibes. It's Jay.